We're just about 15 meters away now. Just about 21 hours after liftoff, the first all-private team of astronauts ever launched to the International Space Station arrived safely at the orbiting research platform Saturday. So Aton Sibby first one through, followed shortly after by Mark Pathy making his way onto the space station. The four-man team, representing Houston-based startup company Axiom Space, will begin a week-long science mission hailed as a milestone in commercial space flight, riding atop a SpaceX-launched Falcon 9 rocket. But the final approach did not happen seamlessly. It was delayed by a technical glitch that disrupted a video feed used to monitor the capsule's rendezvous with ISS. The snafu forced the Crew Dragon capsule to pause and hold its position 20 meters away from the station for about 45 minutes while Mission Control troubleshooted the issue. The multinational Axiom team, planning to spend eight days in orbit, was led by retired Spanish-born NASA astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria, the company's vice president for business development. The Axe 1 team was welcomed by all seven of the regular government-paid crew members already occupying the space station. I got to tell you, this is its quite an experience. The new arrivals brought with them two dozen science and biomedical experiments to conduct aboard ISS, including research on brain health, cardiac stem cells, cancer and aging, as well as a technology demonstration to produce optics using the surface tension of fluids in microgravity. Three, two... One, zero. Ignition. The mission, a collaboration among Axiom, Elon Musk's rocket company SpaceX, and NASA, has been touted by all three as a major step in the expansion of space-based commercial activities, collectively referred to by insiders as the Low Earth Orbit Economy, or LEO Economy for short. The Axiom mission also stands as SpaceX's sixth human spaceflight in nearly two years.